one truck driver training Springfield and this is the M Missouri CDL pre-trip. As I approach the truck, I'm going to check to make sure that my clearance lights are amber in color. They're not cracked or broken. They work properly. My turn signals on both sides are amber in color. They're not cracked or broken and they work properly. My headlights are clear. They're not cracked or broken. They're aimed properly. And I'm going to do a look under the truck for leaks like oil, fuel, or coolant. I'm going to go ahead and raise the hood. Clear. On this side of the truck, we're going to check all of our hoses, our radiator hoses. Make sure they're properly mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Everything's mounted properly, no missing hardware, and there's no leaks. We're going to check, make sure our alternator is mounted securely. There's no missing nuts or bolts. It's not cracked or broken. The wires have no bare wires showing. It is belt driven. There's no more than three quarters of an inch play between the belts. The belt is not worn, cut, or frayed. My gear driven water pump is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts, and it is not leaking. Let's go to the other side. Continuing on with the engine parts, I have my coolant reservoir. It is filled to the proper level. It's mounted securely. There's no missing nuts or bolts. I don't see any leaks under here, and the cap is on tight. My power steering reservoir is filled to the proper level. The cap's on tight. I don't see anything leaking. My three power steering hoses are mounted securely. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and no leaks. The gear-driven power steering pump is mounted securely, not cracked or broken, no missing nuts or bolts, and not leaking. This is my air compressor right here. It is mounted securely, not cracked or broken, no missing nuts or bolts, and no audible air leaks. This line right here is the main air line. It's properly mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no abrasions, bulges or cuts, or no audible air leaks. My oil level is filled to the proper level between the ad and the full mark. The oil fill is on tight, screwed down tight, and not leaking. Suspension. My frame, both sides, front to back, have is not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no unauthorized holes or welds because the frame is designed to twist. These are my spring mounts. They are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. My spring is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. It's not shifted. It's aligned properly. And my U-bolts are not cracked or broken. They're on tight and they're all the nuts are on the bottom. My shock absorber is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. It is an oil-filled shock, so it is not cracked, dented, or leaking oil. Steering. My steering shaft is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. There's no excessive play and there is no debris in the U-joints. My steering gearbox is properly mounted. It's not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts and it is not leaking. My pitman arm, my drag link, my upper and lower steering knuckles and tie rod are not bent, cracked, or broken. They're mounted securely. Uh, no missing castle nuts and cotter pins. One at the pitman arm, one at the upper knuckle, and one down here at the lower knuckle. Okay. Okay, brakes. My brake hose is mounted securely. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's no audible air leaks. My brake chamber is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts, and there's no audible air leaks. My push rod and my slack adjuster are in place with a cotter pin right here. There's not cracked or broken. No missing pieces. Should move no more than one inch with the brakes released. My brake shoes, proper thickness, usually no less than a quarter inch. Not cracked or broken. No oil or grease. My brake drum is not cracked or broken. There's no oil or grease and no holes or welds. Wheel assembly. 
My tires on all three sides have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The tread is worn evenly. I have at least four thirty seconds of tread depth, and the tire is filled to the proper level, factory setting, uh, whatever it says on the tire. I would check that with a tire gauge at the valve stem, which is not cracked or broken, not leaking air, and should have a cap. My rims are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. There's no unauthorized holes or welds on the rim. My lug nuts are all secure and tight. None are missing. And signs of a loose lug nut would be like rust streaks or shiny threads from a cross-threaded nut. The axle seal is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. It's filled to the proper level and not leaking. My mirror is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. I don't see any missing nuts or bolts. My door has no visible signs of holes or damage. The hinges are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. My door latch outside and inside works properly. My weather stripping is in good shape and the door opens and closes properly. Fuel tank. The fuel tank is not bent, cracked, or leaking. I don't see any fuel leaking under the truck. The cap is on tight. It should have a rubber seal. And the straps that hold the tank on have to have this rubber in place because metal to metal will rub a hole in the tank. My steps are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. Supports my weight. Okay. Turn signal. Amber in color. Not cracked or broken and works properly. Back of the cab. My exhaust system appears to be mounted securely, not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. Uh, no signs of an exhaust leak like carbon soot. It looks like black powder. The steps and catwalk here are free of debris or trip hazards. They're not, uh, no missing nuts or bolts, not cracked or broken. My drive shaft is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. I don't see any debris in the U-joints. Okay, my airlines are properly mounted to the trailer and to the truck. I don't see any abrasions, bulges, or cuts on the airlines. They're not tangled or dangling on the catwalk. My, uh, my glad hands have the rubber seal in place on both of them. The electrical line is firmly plugged into the trailer. And to the truck, I don't see any bare wires on my electrical cord, and again, not tangled or dangling on the catwalk. Okay, we're going to do this axle right here. Suspension. My frame, both sides, front to back, is not bent, cracked, or broken. There's no unauthorized holes or welds. My spring mounts are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The spring or control arm is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. Uh, the U-bolts that hold the spring onto the axle are not bent, cracked, or broken. They're tight. They have all the nuts tight on the bottom. My torsion bar is mounted securely. It's not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. Continuing on with the suspension. My airbags are properly mounted. There's no missing nuts or bolts on top. The rubber has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The shock absorber is mounted securely on both ends. There's no missing nuts or bolts, and it's not cracked or dented or leaking oil. <coughs> Brakes. My brake hoses are mounted securely. They're not uh, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's no audible air leaks. My brake chambers are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. My push rod and slack adjuster should have a cotter pin. There's no missing pieces. They're not cracked or broken and should move no more than one inch with the brakes released. Brake shoes. Proper thickness. Not no less than a quarter inch. And no debris like oil or grease. And the brake drum mounted securely. Not cracked or broken. No oil or grease. Wheel assembly. My inner space is free of debris. Both of my tires on all three sides have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The tread is worn evenly. I should have two 30 seconds of tread depth, and the wheel is filled to the 
proper level uh, factory setting whatever it says on the tire I would check that with the tire gauge at the valve stem but should not be cracked or broken or leaking air and should have a cap both of my rims are mounted securely they're not cracked or broken there's no unauthorized holes or welds the lug nuts are all there and tight none are missing no signs of a loose lug nut like rust streaks or shiny threads the outer hub seal mounted securely not cracked or broken no missing nuts or bolts and not leaking I would inspect this axle the same as I just inspected this axle <coughs> my mud flaps or splash guards are mounted securely they're not torn or missing there's no missing nuts or bolts they're not dragging on the ground or rubbing against the tire the lights and reflectors on the back are red they're not cracked or broken and they work coupling system I can see my truck is equipped with a slide rail so I want to make sure that I have ample room between my landing gear and the back of the frame so I can turn properly I'm going to visually inspect that my locking jaws are secured around the kingpin the kingpin is not bent cracked or broken I don't see any space between the trailer apron and the skid plate and the skid plate is properly greased <coughs> the mounting bolts for my fifth wheel are all there and tight none are missing the slide rail is properly mounted it's not cracked or broken there's no missing nuts or bolts the locking pins are out in the locked position the airline for the fifth wheel uh, slide is no abrasions, bolts or cuts, properly mounted, no uh, audible air leaks. The release arm should be in, all the way in, in the locked position. I know it's locked because I visually inspected my locking jaws were secured around the kingpin. My platform is properly mounted, it's not cracked or broken, there's no missing nuts or bolts, and my safety pin is in place so this pin cannot come out. <coughs> Trailer. The front of my trailer has no holes or missing rivets. The lights and the reflectors should be amber, not cracked or broken, and they should work properly. My DOT tape should extend down the length of the trailer, covering at least 50%. This is my trailer frame. I'm going to inspect my trailer frame. It should not be bent, cracked, or broken. There should be no missing rivets. These rivets hold on these cross members. The cross members should be evenly spaced, not bent, cracked, or broken, and none are missing. Landing gear should be mounted properly, not cracked or broken. There shouldn't be any missing nuts or bolts. It should be raised up all the way, no debris in the sand shoe, and your crank handle should be secure. turn signal or running light should be amber in color should not be cracked or broken and it should work properly my airline should be up above the ground usually 18 inches or so properly mounted no abrasions bulges or cuts and no audible air leaks the slide rail should be mounted properly not cracked or broken no missing nuts or bolts the locking pin should be out in the locked position there should be four of them two on each side and the release arm should be in all the way in in the locked position I'm going to do this axle right here okay okay suspension my spring mounts which are back here between the duals should be properly mounted not cracked or broken no missing nuts or bolts the springs should be properly mounted not cracked or broken not shifted and the u-bolt should be tight and have all the nuts tight on the bottom this is the torsion bar and it should not be missing any nuts or bolts not cracked or broken and mounted properly brakes my brake hoses should be mounted securely no abrasions bulges or cuts the brake chamber should be mounted securely not cracked or broken no missing nuts or bolts no audible air leaks the push rod and slack adjuster should have this cotter pan holding them together they're not cracked or broken no missing pieces should move no more than one inch with the brakes released my brake shoes should be the proper thickness not cracked or broken no oil or grease on them and the brake drum should be properly mounted not cracked or broken no oil or grease 
and no holes or welts. <coughs> Wheel assembly. The inner space here is free of debris. Tires are evenly spaced. All three sides of both of the tires are of no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The tread is worn evenly. I have two thirty seconds of tread depth and the tire is filled to the proper level. Factory setting, whatever it says on the tire, I would check that with the tire gauge at the valve stem, which should not be bent, cracked, broken, or leaking air, and it should have a cap, and that one does not. Both of the rims should be mounted securely, not cracked or broken, no unauthorized holes or welds. Lug nuts are all secure and tight, none are missing, and there's no signs of a loose lug nut like rust streaks or shiny threads from a cross-threaded nut. Outer hub seal, properly mounted, not cracked or broken, there's no missing nuts or bolts, it's not leaking and it's filled to the proper level. I would inspect this axle the same as I just inspected this axle. If you have swing open doors, there should be kind of a door tie here to keep your door secure when you back up. Should be a hook or a chain, properly mounted, not cracked, broken, or missing. On the rear side, you have your lights and reflectors here. Should be red, not cracked, or broken, and they should work. My splash guards are mounted securely. They're not torn or missing or dragging the ground, and there's no missing nuts or bolts. They're mounted securely. On the back of the trailer here, the door should have not be bent, or cracked, or broken. There's no damage. The hinges are mounted securely. They're not cracked or broken. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The door latches should be mounted securely, not cracked or broken. The doors should open and close properly. We should have our door ties here on the back, a chain or a hook, able to secure your door open when you back. The lights and reflectors on the back are red. They're not cracked or broken. We should have DOT tape, red and white in color on the back of the trailer here. Your DOT bar should not be bent, cracked, or broken and not missing. And if your trailer is equipped with one, you would uh, check the spare tire rack. Should not be bent, cracked, or broken. It should have a chain. And I would inspect this side of the truck the same as I just inspected that side.